Good morning, everybody, and I hope you're having a wonderful day today. I have a question for you. Do you know anyone who has a chronic illness? Do you yourself have a chronic illness? Do you even know what a chronic illness is? One out of every two adult Americans has some form of hidden invisible disorder. That can be anything from diabetes to cancer to Lyme's to fibromyalgia and hundreds of other issues. But they're very difficult generally to discover, to treat, and often the people who have them look like there's nothing wrong. They look fine, but inside they're just in pain and their brains are foggy and they can't use their hands and their joints hurt. And who out of all of us don't know somebody with arthritis? That's a chronic illness. And, you know, you might say, well, I feel bad for them, but it's, it's really not that difficult. But let me tell you a story. I know a woman who lost her husband because she was sick and she could not do the things she used to do for him. She used to cook his meals, clean the house do all of those kinds of things. And he went off to work and she was the good stay at home housewife until one day she couldn't do it any longer. And she would be in bed and she couldn't cook and she couldn't iron and she couldn't do all the things that she normally did. And her husband said, well, I, you know, I can't deal with this. These are not my responsibilities. And eventually they got divorced. And now not only did she not have a husband, but she didn't have financial means to take care of herself. And before long, she was homeless. Um, other people have lost their jobs because they couldn't do the nine to five any longer. And in the process of that, they became depressed, suicidal, the doctors couldn't find anything wrong with them and would tell them that they were making things up, that they were hypochondriacs. And the spiral just goes on and on and on. One out of every two adult Americans has some sort of chronic illness that this type of situation is either happening to them, has happened to them, or may be right around the corner for them. We need to not only let people know that we get it and understand and that we're not thinking any less of them because of these issues, but we need to also communicate to the medical profession, communicate to the social services professions and community that these things are very, very serious very important and need to be addressed. I am reaching out today just as a public service announcement to let you all know that this happens every day in all of our lives, whether we know about it or not. And I ask that you please just be a little more kind and concerned for other people when they say they don't feel good or they just don't seem themselves, there may be something going on. Thank you very much. And I hope you all have a great day and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.